So it is very telling uh, that today that we are facing the pandemic COVID-19 globally and particularly in Malaysia. Global and local food supply chain has become an issue. And right now, the fact that we are facing this uh, pandemic, which is affecting everyone, to make sure that Malaysia achieve food self-sufficiency, so we have undertaken some serious measure to address that. The, the system we have developed is called the Smart Urban Farming System, allows people to grow uh, vegetable crops they desire. But on top of that, we also add some layer of protein, which allows people like you and me to also literally grow fish. What makes Nano Malaysia's smart urban farming different and unique is the fact that we use nanotechnology solution to make sure that it has all the correct components, the correct system, so that the plant can grow efficiently, is able to self-sustain itself. So number one, which is make it so different, is we employ nano light energy panel, which is different compared to the conventional solar panel out there. Our solar panel is able to absorb light even under cloudy skies. The nano fertilizer, nano fertilizer behave differently compared to conventional fertilizer because at the nano scale, the plant is able to absorb the smaller size fertilizer in a much more efficient way so that it can grow a lot faster. At the same time, the nano fertilizer has this slow release mechanism that will only allow them to release only when the plant requires them to do so. So the movement of the water in that so-called closed system in our smart urban farming will also be monitored by a simple set of sensors. Having this IoT system will allow us to monitor remotely. Even if you're busy, you're elsewhere, away from the system, you're able to read on your mobile apps and read out all the important information. So the whole philosophy of us developing the smart urban farming system is to empower each of the citizens to have control over their food supply chain. That's the whole idea. Having empowered each individual citizen in Malaysia to grow their own food will also create a very positive impact. If you go access your food, your crops, your vegetables, even fish, you can actually sell it to the local restaurants. And that will also empower you as an individual to have that enterprising or entrepreneurial spirit. We are able to also make money on the side while taking care of yourself and your family. On top of that, we are also be able to hit a certain touch point, i.e. sustainable energy. So Malaysia will also be able to reach those sustainable development goals as established by the United Nations. So not only are we are addressing food supply chain, we are also enhancing the economic impact to allow for SMEs, startups to co-innovate, making the smart urban farming a lot better through sustainable innovation, sustainable economy, as well sustainability for the environment. So that would be the greatest gift for Malaysia through our Smart Urban Farming Kit. Thank you. What if one day, we won't have to pump petrol to our cars anymore, or even charge them? What if we could just put water in it? What if I told you that there's actually a project in Malaysia making this happen right now, all for more sustainable Earth? Natural disasters like hurricanes, wildfires and droughts are a global issue. We're lucky we don't really experience them in Malaysia. Well, besides the occasional water rationing and unbearable heat. But the main cause of this is what climate scientists call dirty energy. Of course, clean renewable energy from sunlight, wind, rain and other sources may be the best bet we have to replace fossil fuels. And that's why electrical vehicles or EVs are a popular choice. But they do come with some weaknesses, such as the constant need for charging stations, slow charging times, and expensive battery replacements. This is where hydrogen comes in as a clean fuel source. Hydrogen fuel cells, aka hydrogen-powered engines, are reliable, easy to install, and more powerful than using traditional oil-based engines in cars and power plants. But just like EVs, there's not enough refueling stations to go around. The good news is, we have a quick fix thanks to a company called Nano Malaysia and their partners who are developing something called the Hydrogen Hybrid Energy Storage System or H2SS that can be used in EVs. It's made up of a graphene-based ultra-capacitor, a battery, a fuel cell system, an electric motor, a distilled water tank, and an onboard hydrogen generator. 
Big words, I know. So how does it work? First, the onboard hydrogen generation system creates its own fuel, and its waste can be recycled and reused. Next, the Hybrid Energy Storage System, or HESS, uses what's called graphene-based ultracapacitors that can stretch its battery's lifespan and lets you charge it faster too. That means you can drive it further without charging it so often, like what we wish our phones could do. If you're wondering whether that's even possible, this technology is already being used to power drones in the farming sector. They can also fly four times longer than battery-powered ones. H2SS can even power stationary buildings like factories, malls, or apartments. Imagine one day, even your home won't have to rely on fossil fuels for power. That means less pollution. This all sounds too good to be true, right? Well, to prove that this is all possible, Nano Malaysia and their partners are now working on a hydrogen-paired electric race car called Hyper. The car will use the H2SS technology like a cartridge, just like a cassette system. You can power it using just distilled water and powdered hydrides. When the chemicals run out, you can return the cartridge for refilling, like a bring-your-own-bottle type system. This fixes EV's problems of not having enough refueling stations around. Hyper's tech is now in its prototype stage and going through its product development phase at a secret location. Nano Malaysia believes that the technology will be used in everyday products in the coming years. Just imagine, in the future, you won't even need to pump petrol into your cars anymore. You can just use water with a cartridge. A big shout out to Nano Malaysia for showing us the possibilities of how technology can help us reach a more sustainable future. Be sure to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave us a comment about what other topics you'd like us to take a look into.